Today, we are reacting to Mamma Mia 2. So a couple weeks ago, I reacted to Mamma Mia. That's on my channel right here if you wanna go watch it. And it was so fun. Like one of my favorite movie adaptations of a musical. I had such a great time. Well, that was released in 2008. Mamma Mia 2 was released in 2018. So 10 years later, we were blessed with a sequel and I have not seen this before. I don't even know what songs are in this. I literally know nothing about the plot of this one and I'm very excited. By the way, guys, I'm trying something new with my lighting. What do you guys think? Can you let me know in the comments? I'm being genuine. Can you let me know? Because I'm trying something new. I'm on my YouTuber so. <laughs> Who can live without it? I ask. In all honesty, <laughs> Does she call all three of them dad? Thank you for the music, for giving it to me. Grandma. Okay, in the first one, Donna said when her mom found out she was pregnant, she kicked her out. Are we going to get a similar plot in this one as we did the first when she was inviting her dads, her potential dads? <laughs> The calling all of them dad is so funny to me. Like they're a gay polyamorous triad. <laughs> I mean, okay, love the representation. Senor, you're the manager. I need you to stay here and make sure this place is ready for the most incredible opening party of all time. Whatever you dream is Sophie, we will make real. This was her dream. I'm just trying to see it through. Why, why, do, why, why does that look like a shrine to someone who died? Why does that look like a memorial? Dawn is in this movie, right? Meryl Streep is in this movie. If you tell me Meryl Streep is not in this movie, I'm gonna flip this table and I'm out of here. Okay, is that not the clunkiest dialogue you've ever heard? Senor, you're the manager. We need to get ready for this grand opening party. Like, hello, exposition. Didn't you just show her signing the invitations that said the Belladonna Hotel grand reopening? Do we really need this exchange? It's clunky. I wish I could ask her. I wish she was here. Did she die? I, I guess I don't get that answer right away. I really hope this isn't showing that I'm like an idiot or something, but it kind of seems like she died and I need to know more information. But now we're back in 1979, so we're getting a flashback, I guess, into Donna's life. It's that I call on the undergraduate <gasps> selected by- It's Lily James. <laughs> Oh my god. Lily petrified that she was taken by surprise. Oh my god. Okay, um, this is incredible. I have so much to say right now. All I'm gonna say, Lily James is killing it as young Donna. She's got the vibe. She's got the whole energy. <sighs> This is so good. Also, Lily James was Cinderella in the live action Cinderella. And I know there's not a lot of songs in there. Pretty sure there's only one. But if you want me to react to that, guys, let me know in the comments. Bonjour. Cette vidéo vous est présentée par Babel. That's right, this video is brought to you by Babbel. How's my French sounding, guys? Babbel is the best language learning app out there because it teaches you real world practical conversations. Ever since my first integration with Babbel, yeah, me and Babbel, we go way back. I've been working on my French because I did take three years of French in high school, but literally remember nothing. But ever since that first integration, my darling French followers have reminded me that I did say I wanted to visit, which is true. So I've been working on my French and I think it's coming along pretty good. With Babbel's short interactive of lessons, it's such an easy way for me to practice every single day. And those lessons taught by real language teachers are scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in only three weeks. Babbel has a few different subscription options, including a lifetime subscription, which is cool. And if you're not satisfied, they have a 20 day money back guarantee. Incroyable. 2024 is here and it's time to learn something new. And you might be saying, Hannah, New Year's resolutions suck. I never stick with them. Wah. Okay. I hear you, but Babbel is different. It has expert crafted lessons, addictive games, immersive podcasts, and even live classes. These are all designed to help you have real world practical conversations. So whether you're thinking of studying abroad or dreaming of future travel like I am, Babbel is designed to help you get there. If you're ready to start speaking a brand new language in just three weeks, click the link in the description or scan this QR code to get 60% off your subscription. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Babbel. Merci, au revoir. What am I day? Woo! Ooh, she sounds great.
What a great way to start this. I loved that. The casting is perfection. Do you know how stressful it must have been to be cast as a young Meryl Streep? Lily James is doing an excellent job. If I were in her position, I would have had like several panic attacks studying to make sure that I did the best job. And she's doing great. She's in Paris. Perfect for the sponsor of this video. <laughs> you can come with me. But I'm here. I'm always going to be here. So if your mom died a year ago. Why? Did they not have the big bucks for Meryl Streep? Did she not want to come back? Why? Why would you kill her? Why? <laughs> Why? I wasn't prepared for this. I knew Lily James played young Donna. I didn't know Meryl Streep wasn't even in this one. Why? What killed her? Nothing could have killed Donna. She was too strong. Nothing could have killed her. It's like when Hagrid was like, you think a car accident could have killed Lily and James Potter? Nothing could have killed her. She's too powerful. It's fine. It's just a movie. Meryl Streep is still alive, Hannah. It's okay. It's just a movie. It's okay. It's okay. And I never got a good vibe from Sky. No. Never liked him. Now it's different. I want you to know. Is one of us crying? Amanda, you just, you're just kind of lying there. You're just looking straight ahead. Like, she just looks bored. She's not giving us a lot in this moment, I'm not gonna lie. Also, this is the tiniest little nitpick ever. I wish that they had done her hair in the natural looking waves that Donna and Sophie had in the first movie. It feels very manicured in this one. She's also wearing like slacks. <laughs> It doesn't feel as like raw and honest as the first one. Now we changed and I want you to know one of us is crying, one of us is lying. Oh boy. Y'all, am I not gonna like this movie? They look so bored. No one's crying. No one even looks vaguely sad. They just look incredibly bored. And also, in the first one, they didn't really give us any reason to be invested in Sophie and Skye. That's why I was like, you know what? They don't want us to care about this relationship, so they're not gonna end up together. And the fact that they did, I was surprised. I thought that they were gonna break up. So now, to start the movie right off, like as if I'm supposed to feel something about this, because I don't. And I mean, maybe if they were acting better, then maybe I would. Buenos dias. He's still my beating vagina. A piece? <laughs> That's good. That's a good line. <laughs> your beauty comes not only from the exquisite structure of your bones and the laughter in your sparkling eyes, but from the goodness that flowers within you. What was that creepiness? Like, can you imagine a man goes to shake your hand and says something about your bone structure in your hand? Take that away. What? That was so creepy. The writing is so weird. Je suis locked out de ma chambre. Oh, Adam. Uh, je um, put my tray out. This guy needs a language learning app, like the sponsor of this video. So, Harry, you work in a bank. I'm afraid so. It's Harry. His jacket is so small. <laughs> Why is his jacket so tiny? And his pants are so tiny. He looks like his all of his clothes got shrunk in the wash. I could take your hand in mine in a totally natural and spontaneous way. Or you could just ask to hold my hand. Autistic icon, Harry. And talk about the advantages and disadvantages of us spending the night together. <laughs> oh, okay. From where I'm sitting, it seems to be pretty much all upside with, with very little reason not to just crack straight on. You know, that's a little bit, too, that's too much. That's too much, you know? Like he looks so awkward. I think they're trying to make him, like that's his thing, he's so awkward. But even the most awkward people I don't think would be just, well, let's just hook up tonight. We might as well crack on. Even if I liked you, I'd be like, okay, look, wine and dine me a little bit. I mean, I guess he, I guess he currently is whining and dining her, but like do it a little bit more. Let's flirt a little bit. Don't just, <laughs> just don't just proposition me at the table. Hey, you'd be doing me a huge favor because uh, this this would be my first time. Oh my god! Mm, how unromantic can you get? We might as well just get on with it. Also, you'd be doing me a huge favor because 
I've uh, never had the riz to get a woman in my bed before. So can you just <laughs> can you just help a guy out? The history book on the shelf. It's wow. She's, he sounds great. I feel like I'm getting whiplash. What is his character? Is he actually having a mental break? Nothing he's doing is making sense. He's not acting like he likes her at all. He's just like, oh, finally, it's my chance. And then all of a sudden, he's like, when you know, you know. I'm in love. Is he like one of those like homeschooled at a cabin in the woods people <laughs> that doesn't know anything? <laughs> He's raised by wolves? What is going on? <laughs> That's cute. This is the most fun number in the movie so far. That was the greatest event of my life. It's just been a good life, you know, full of happy things. But that was the best of them. He just... <laughs> Did you enjoy it? No, don't answer that. But did you? It was lovely. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I can't look. I can't watch. This is so... Oh, God. This is so awkward. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> men. Hey, men. If you're watching this, this is a really, really great example of everything what not to do. Can you see the way that he's hugging her? And she's just kind of like, okay. And he's like, Literally, that was the greatest moment of his life. And she's like, it was, yeah, yeah, totally, me too. Oh, no. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Jeez, Harry, God. She would have wanted to be there, to get very drunk and deed and dance until she dropped. <laughs> Our dancing queen. This is so sad. Though I try. How can I carry on? Oh, we're getting acting from Pierce Brosnan. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, someone is as upset about Donna's death as I am. John Fawn. I'm Bill. Bill with the boat. Always coming through with the boat. Someone to lean on. <laughs> well, I understand. It's only natural. But why did it have to be? Oh, he sounds great. This is fun. Oh, shoot. This is cute. I like this. We're coming! Those are some shorts. <laughs> I don't think you can swim faster than the boat. If you lost someone, you're willing to die for her. Yeah, but you don't have to. It's an important distinction. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. I like Bill. No, no, lady, no. Don't do that. Your, your dress. I mean, we love a grand gesture. I would be even happier if you were happy. No happiness for me, as you say. That ship sailed many long years ago. That's so weird. That ship sailed a long time ago. Being happy? You're just resigning to the fact you're never, ever going to be happy. What? What is it? I'm not sure. Tell me. I fear a storm is coming. Okay. <laughs> they've, they've turned this Fernando character into like, like a witch, like a wizard. He's like, oh, what's wrong? I'm not sure. Something's coming. Like, are you kidding me? Evil villain. I, I there's some evil in there. A fantasy I love this to help you see. Oh my god, imagine the splinters all over her body. She just broke the staircase. I'm sure I'm not. Oh no. He said this might happen. Oh god. For the storm to roll in that quickly, like bright sunshine and then thunder lightning pouring, like that was, that's witchy stuff. I don't trust that Fernando guy. Back home, everything was lined up for me. A great job and just my whole life mapped out. I want to take a break before I signed up to it. 
Why is that always the plot point is that someone is going to find themselves, but when they you learn their history, it's like, everybody just had my life planned out for me and I wanted to plan my life. Like, isn't it more realistic for someone to be like, eh, I think I might want to go to med school, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to, I'm just traveling. <laughs> Maybe that's more boring and it's not as exciting, but there it is. He had everything planned out for him and now he just wants a break. This dress would look very pretty on. You really don't know me at all, do you? She got some overalls. Listen, about what's waiting for me back on. No, there's something. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> God, I love her. Take your time. Make it slow. Andante, andante. She's got a pretty voice. Just let the feeling grow. Oh, and I like that low note. Tread lightly on my ground. Andante, andante. Oh, please don't let oh. me down. You know that part in Moulin Rouge where they make eye contact for the first time and it's just like ding and you can see the sparks in their eyes and they fall in love. I feel like Donna makes eye contact with anybody for like longer than five seconds and they're like, sorry, what did, what did you say? <laughs> like, no, head empty. Like, they are in love with her. I'm watching a movie and I'm in love with her. Why are they not showing more of their relationship? They're like telling me that they're falling in love, but they're not showing me. I wasn't joking yesterday. I was serious. I want to stay here. And I think you should too. I think we should make a choice. Donna, that's crazy. <laughs> You've known each other for like what? Three days? Five days max? I don't know. I just kind of think I am putting cuticle oil on my cuticles, so hold on. In the last movie, when she saw Sam, I think that was the biggest reaction, right? So that was the biggest love. And then they like got married right then and there, right? That was pretty crazy. In these flashbacks, I'm just not seeing that. I just don't believe it. And that's disappointing. It's like we're seeing time with them, but it just doesn't feel like enough maybe, or there's just not enough banter. <laughs> I love all of Donna's old outfits. They're so beautiful. Oh. Crazy story, babe. I got us some fresh oranges. Bad news, I got chased by a goat the whole way home, so I could only bring three. <laughs> I went after that. Of course I did. Oh my, does he have a girlfriend? Are you engaged to that beautiful woman? Yes. Ugh. And did you tell me about it? No. And do you seriously think I could ever forgive you? What a scumbag. Don't do that. Tell somebody. Sorry, you have to choose. You have to choose. And this is coming from a person who's polyamorous, okay? You have to choose. It has to be ethical. Everybody has to know about it. And that is stupid. That's stupid. You fall in love with a beautiful blonde while you're on your vacation in Greece. Call your fiance. Tell her that you don't want to be together anymore. Or tell Donna. Or don't fall in love with someone else that you found. Although I doubt that it's love because he had a fiance. Damn, Sam. I am not on your side. Tears in my eyes Here is where the story is. He sounds great. He looks great. I am bored because boohoo. Boohoo. What? Oh, you're so sad because you were dating two people at the same time or you let Donna believe that you were single. Because why wouldn't she believe that you were single? Because you slept with her. Time went through. We're really through. Bringing up is never easy. I know what I have. I have to go this time. I have to go. This time I know. Knowing me, knowing you is the best I can This this is I think an interesting song choice here. I wish that there was something else. I wish Donna was singing this only. You know, just like this time I have to go. Like it it, it just doesn't seem like the most appropriate for this brand new relationship. That song is about the back and forth and and with a relationship that you know that needs to end, you know? It just doesn't fit with this little week long fling that they had. Imagine Donna standing there and she's just like. <laughs> this deal will make your company the number one in Europe. 
Worth taking time, I think. Absolutely. 14 more hours. Bring them on. I I have to say, the trope in movies of the wealthy person being like, there's more to life than money and like leaving it all behind. It's so tired to me, to be honest. Excuse me while I go on a rant. I just feel like that whole like money doesn't buy happiness is something that like super, super wealthy people like to say because all of their basic needs are met. Are you with me? (laughs) Because money does buy happiness up to a certain income level. There's a study on this. Please, you're not here for that. But I just hate it. I hate him being bored like, oh, wow, whatever. This deal would be huge for our company. But what really matters, guys? And then like a very special episode music comes on. What really matters, guys, is connection, you know, family, friends. That's what really matters. And then he takes a second and he's like, I have to go. And he immediately just goes to the airport to go to Greece. Is that literally what's about to happen? Let's find out. What did you realize? There's no use climbing the ladder if you're on completely the wrong wall. There it is. None of this matters. Did they put him in a fat suit? Uh, I'd like to thank. They put him in a fat suit. Why did they do that? What's the point? Are we supposed to be like, hee hee, ha ha ha, he's fat now? Really? And uh, I also have a wife. She's lovely. Hello. How's he doing? His best. It's one thing to get your twin brother to take your science <laughs> exams at school. But this. Oh God, oh my God, that's so dumb. That is so dumb. His twin brother is taking the award for him. Already just dumb. That's so silly. And also, secondly, they did just put him in a fat suit for a little little goof and a gag. Kicks and giggles. What? It's like every time in Friends when Monica, like they do a flashback, she's in her fat suit and it's just like so funny. She doesn't even open her mouth and everybody's laughing. Boring, tired, dumb. I don't know how to sing about love when I'm not feeling it. Then, Sing about what you are feeling. Yes, sing a revenge ballad. I was cheated by you. (gasps) Yes! And I think you know when. I'm so excited. There's a fire within my soul. (laughs) Just one look and I can hear a bell ring. Yay! Does it show again? My, my, just how much I miss Oh, she sounds so good. I have been waiting for this the whole movie. Mama Mia, here I go again. My, my, how can I resist ya? Mama Mia. I think the casting for these characters is impeccable. They are so good, especially Lily James. She is just blowing me away. And the costumes are so fun. I said this about the first one, that it was just like beautiful to look at. This is very beautiful to look at. You know you're in trouble when the word just comes before the word friends. That's how most of my marriages ended too. One night I was taken. That was such an abrupt start to a song. We got one drum beat and it started. Look into his angel eyes. Whoa, look at your hypnotized. I wouldn't exactly say that this song seems to fit. In the last movie, it was the second half that I was like, wow, they are cranking out a bunch of songs. They're just like packed into the second half. Kind of seems like they're doing that again. Ew. Boo. I just want to be up front and say that I visually enjoy you. Tanya, I love her. I'm just going to be up front and say I visually enjoy you. What a powerful thing to say. And also probably creepy if it came from a man, (laughs) but from her and her energy, I think it was good. Imagining like a man saying, I visually enjoy you. I'd be like, can you go enjoy someone else somewhere else? Cause I no. but I like it from her. I know who you are looking for with your wandering eye and restless groin. I said, cut it off the way you hurt that precious angel. She she called Donna a precious angel. I'm just, everyone falls in love with Donna. Even this old lady, she's just like adopted Donna. That's so cute. I don't understand how this gets us to the island. It's a little trick I learned. You're faced with a problem, you literally strap yourself down, can't get up until it's solved. Oh. That is so weird. Is that a king? That's so, oh my God. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Guys, really, I think this movie would be better. I think if it was just a prequel, it was just Lily James and the incredible casting and Donna in the seventies, just that. Cause this is so weird. <laughs> oh, come on, we have each other. Oh, I think we've got more than that.
They're in love. <laughs> Gay polyamorous triad confirmed. cute i will admit but i still don't believe that they love each other i just don't i have never felt closer to my mom i know are you trying to say that you're pregnant just say it i'm pregnant what in exactly the same place that she was I'm nervous. I don't I don't like the way Sky reacted to that. He did not seem very happy. Oh, I'm nervous. I, I'm afraid she's gonna just like repeat Donna's story. Who is there? Oh, is that grandma? If that's grandma, she better be coming with a heartfelt apology. Mes enfants, je suis arrivé. <laughs> It's Cher. It's actually Cher. Also, she's speaking French because this video is sponsored. It's Cher. Oh my God, she looks amazing, but she better be coming in with a heartfelt apology. I mean it. She literally has not been around for like, what, 10? It's been 10 years maybe since the last one. She hasn't been around for Sophie's entire life. She missed the majority of Donna's life before she died, which they still haven't said why she died, by the way. I've decided to commit to being a grandmother. What? <sighs> 25 years too late. You know, so if being a grudge holder makes you fat. Uh? Grudges make you fat. This is not only not a very good apology, it's the opposite. You're, you're doing more harm. I know that this is Cher. <laughs> she looks fabulous. She is serving looks right now. Sophie needs to kick her out. That's crazy. Because do you want to know what? Donna would be kicking her out right now. She would be like, no, I built this all myself. You kicked me out. You didn't want to see me when I was pregnant. No, we're not doing this. Come on, Sophie, kick her out. Ever since I, I was a child, I've wanted once, just once, to be a part of Donna and the Dynamos. <laughs> Aw, she's gonna sing lead. Cute. Will change my life forever. Oh, she looks so cute pregnant. Oh my god. You'll see how much I care when you need me. I'm glad that Donna had Sophia with her. And finally it seems my lonely. I wish that this song was a little bit more upbeat if they were gonna have the dynamos performance. Tiny baby. Oh my God, Lily James is gonna make me cry. Lily James is the star of this show. She is acting her pants off. It's so beautiful. One thing that comes into my mind when I see babies on screen is how old is that baby for real? And especially when they're like really tiny. I'm like, how long has that baby been alive? Is it safe for that baby to be on set? <laughs> Where did they get that baby? You know, I'm always curious about that. Not bad. You gotta work on your breathing and you were a little pitchy. Oh my God. Uh, Grandma. Grandma Cher is awful and should not be around. It's not a grudge to hold boundaries in your life and say, hey, you know, you, you're 25, 30 years too late to come back into Donna's life. Literally, she's dead now and I don't want you in my life either. And you're kind of mean to me. We've had two conversations. Goodbye, okay? Keep some boundaries. She needs to go. Mexico, 1959. Can you hear the drums from Mexico? Okay, okay, so they set up this whole thing. Number one, so Cher would sing. Okay, I'm not gonna blame them for wanting Cher to sing. Number two, there's a song, Fernando. Why didn't I put, I should have, his name's Fernando. Of course, of course they're gonna sing Fernando. Oh my God. In the firelight, Fernando. You are humming to yourself and softly strumming your guitar. I could hear the distant drums and sounds of bugle calls were coming from afar. So everything just happens in Greece. Like this is a magical place for Sophie's family. Cause he said Mexico 1959. So how they ended up here. There was something in the air that night. Ooh. Okay, she sounds good. Of course she does. Yes.
brought her back for a second. Meryl Streep comes back for one second and she's making me cry. Like an image passing by My love, my life In the mirror of your eyes Their voices sound so pretty together. You are my one and only Oh man, that's so sad. And Donna is resurrected, she comes back to life, and we have a happy ending. Right? I was sick and tired of everything when I called you This is why they cast So they could have some cool numbers. Look at them! Smiling, having fun. They're rhinestone microphones, I love them. Sounds so good. Shining like the sun. That's so cute. Thinking of like Donna dancing with younger Donna, like reparenting her inner child. That just got me. Like I always do. Somewhere in the crowd. There's you. Okay, so we never learned, we never learned how Donna died, and I hate that. And I don't like that Grandma just shows up at the end and there's no, like, resolution. I mean, it is fun to have Cher show up and sing, but I think it would have been so healing for Sophie, just found out she's pregnant, to meet her grandmother and get this heartfelt apology because she comes back into her life and doesn't even acknowledge that her daughter is dead dead there should be an apology and like how she wants to step in and she wants to be with her but really she just sees fernando and she's like oh i'm never leaving because the love of my life is here that i had a fling with once a long time ago apparently i thought we might figure out who sophie's dad was but we we still don't know but you know she's she's really just committed to the fact that she has three dads okay and we did get a little bit of meryl streep again at the end so i guess i I'm, I'm glad about that. I think it would have been better if it was just Donna in the 70s, just her story. It felt a little bit too reunion-y sometimes, you know, like banking on the nostalgia. But I think we, we would have had lots of nostalgia if it would have just been with Lily James killing it set in the 70s. That's my two cents. Thanks again to Babbel for sponsoring this video. Click the link in my description or scan this QR code to get 60% off your subscription. Sponsors help me so much, so thank you, Babbel. Really appreciate it. And thank you to my patrons for supporting what I do. Patreon.com slash Hannah Okay, bye.